二零至二年第廿六、廿七條咧，都係有關於光合作用嘅實驗題目嚟嘅。咁整個實驗咧分做兩部分，頭二百秒咧，我哋就提供咗一個 percent 嘅二氧化碳俾啲六組嘅培養啦。跟住嗰二百秒咧，就提供咗零點零三個 percent 嘅二氧化碳啦，就係俾啲六組培養嘅。而下面啲幅圖咧，就顯示隨住時間過去啦。喺呢啲六組嘅卡爾文循環入面啦，佢哋嘅三碳化合物同埋五碳化合物嘅相對濃度究竟有咩嘅改變咧？咁我哋會發二三四，咁我哋會發現啦，隨住二氧化碳濃度改變咧，佢哋係會下降咗嘅。而五碳化合物咧，隨住個提供嘅二氧化碳濃度改變咧，佢係上升咗嘅。咁而家題目咧就問翻我哋啦。當二氧化碳嘅濃度由一個 percent 去到零點零三個 percent 嘅時候啦，下面邊一個組合係能夠顯示到化合物嘅初期濃度變化同埋解釋咧？所以啦，當你睇翻題目嘅時候咧，咁佢真係四個選擇咧，係題目都係啱嘅。三 C 咧就係下降下降，五 C 咧就上升上升，咁你真係見得到幅圖係咁講啊嘛？問題就係個解釋邊一個係一個正確配對啦？咁呢條題目咧考我哋兩樣嘢嘅，第一咧就考翻卡爾文循環嘅主要步驟啦，第二啦就係、是、對於碳固定嘅定義啦。咁而家咧我哋就睇翻卡爾文循環究竟有啲咩嘅主要步驟先啦。咁我就分咗啦三大步驟啦。第一步驟咧就係、是、二氧化碳嘅固定啦。二氧化碳咧係會同一個五碳嘅化合物就結合形成兩個嘅三碳化合物啦。第二啦。就係、是、三碳化合物嘅還原啦，當中啦，我哋就需要能量啦，同埋呢個氫啦，咁啊由 ATP 就釋放能量 ，NADPH 咧就釋放氫啦，就會將呢個三碳化合物咧就還原成為丙糖磷酸嘅，而呢兩個丙糖磷酸咧就將會結合成為一個葡萄糖嘅分子嘅，而去到第三步咧。就係、是、再生翻二氧化碳受體啦，大部分嘅丙糖磷酸分子咧就會攞嚟再生翻五碳嘅二氧化碳受體，從而就令到卡爾文循環咧可以繼續重複落去啦。而呢個過程咧係需要 ATP 提供能量嘅。咁而家三大個步驟咧，我哋有曬啦。咁我哋睇翻題目就逐一擊破咯喎。咁答案 A 咧就講啦，三碳化合物之所以下降咧，係因為三碳化合物嘅還原咧。係增加咗嘅，呢句説話咧係錯嘅。咁啊，因為啦，而家題目咧頭二百秒同尾二百秒咧，佢哋嘅二氧化碳濃度係下降咗。整個卡爾文循環咧，就係、是、由二氧化碳同埋呢個五碳嘅化合物結合嗰一刻咧開始嘅。咁而家二氧化碳係少咗噶嘛？咁自不然啦，能夠產生到嘅三碳化合物咧，其實都應該係少咗噶。咁所以係咪少咗三碳化合物俾你去還原成為呢個丙糖磷酸啊？咁所以其實都係少咗噶嘛。跟住啦，去到 B 啦，三碳化合物嘅含量之所以下降咧，係因為啦由光化反應所製造嘅 ATP 咧係減少咗。咁 option B 咧其實都係錯嘅。咁啊因為啦光化反應佢係屬於依賴光嘅反應，所以啦 ATP 嘅製造咧其實係。受到光度嘅影響，而唔係受到 CO2 二氧化碳濃度嘅高低所影響嘅。所以啦，今次嘅題目就只係改變咗二氧化碳濃度，係冇改變到光度噶嘛。所以呢一句説話咧，都係錯嘅。跟住啦，我哋睇埋 D 嗰句啦。五碳化合物之所以上升咧，係因為二氧化碳受體嘅再生咧係增加咗嘅。咁呢句説話又係錯嘅。咁其實二氧化碳受體嘅再生咧。唔會係增加嘅，反而咧係下降嘅。用翻整個邏輯咧去理解一下啦。由於少咗二氧化碳進入卡爾文循環，我哋係會用少咗呢個三碳嘅化合物去製造丙糖磷酸，所以啦，丙糖磷酸其實都係會少咗，所以製造嘅葡萄糖當然係少咗啦。故此咧，由於丙糖磷酸少。我哋能夠透過利用丙糖磷酸去再生翻啲二氧化碳受體，其實都應該係少咗嘅。所以五碳化合物嘅上升嘅真正原因咧，係因為我哋需求少咗啊！我哋少咗二氧化碳進入卡爾文循環啊嘛，我哋自不然啦，就需要少一啲嘅二氧化碳受體
都冇所謂啦。所以啦，喺嗰陣時咧，你幻想下咧，當初咧，我哋對的士嘅需求咧就好多嘅。咁啊，所以啦，條的士嘅車龍咧就好似 keep 住好短咁樣。但係剎那之間啲客咧就冇咗啲喎。個的士係咪要排多一陣隊先有客去上啊？咁當啲客慢慢上咗車之後咧，嗰、那個五 C 嘅化物咧就會少咗啦。原因就係咧。少咗二氧化碳嘅進入，少咗丙糖磷酸嘅製造，所以能夠再生出嚟嘅二氧化碳受體都少咗啦，少咗客嚟啊嘛，所以咧都會自動調節翻咧啲的士嘅數量啦。咁所以啦 ，D 咧都係錯，咁啊正確答案當然就係 C 啦。五碳嘅化合物之所以上升，係因為碳嘅固定減少咗。呢、这個就係正正頭先我講嘅嘢啦。由於二氧化碳供應少咗嘛，就自不然少咗二氧化碳喺卡爾文循環當中嘅固定啦。所以咧就會有少一啲嘅五碳化合物咧，就俾我哋利用咗去。咁所以啦，就會多咗五碳嘅化合物咧喺度排隊啦。咁呢個係基於頭嗰二百秒我哋好多的士出咗去嘛。咁啲的士咪以為好多客咯，咁能夠再生翻出嚟嘅五碳化合物咪多咗咯。咁但係之後啦，就少咗二氧化碳嚟啊嘛，咁就會形成咗好似有的士冇人搭嘅現象啦。所以 option C 呢句就係正確啦。而喺呢一條呢，我又想提一提喎，就係字眼嘅問題啦，係意味住有一個碳喺卡爾文循環當中被固定，而二氧化碳固定。就係、是、指五碳化合物去接收咗一個二氧化碳。Two two two question twenty six and twenty seven refer to the experiment about photosynthesis, in which in green algal culture was supplied with one percent carbon dioxide for two hundred seconds, and then followed by zero point zero three percent carbon dioxide for another two hundred seconds, and the changes in the relative concentration of the three C compound and five C compound in the Kelvin Cycle of the green algae are shown below, so you can see that along the time, what we with the three C compound and five C compound relative concentration changes, and for the three C compound, the concentration decreases, and for the five C compound, the relative concentration increases in the initial stage. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. When the carbon dioxide concentration switch from one percent to zero point zero three percent, which of the following combination correctly shows the initial change of the concentration of the compounds and the explanation? So you can see that from the graph, three C compound decreases, decreases, and for the five C compound increases and increases. And what we need to consider is the explanation. Are the explanations correct? So let's take a look at the exam. Say so for this question, there are two major concept checking point. First one is to recall the major steps of the Kelvin cycle, and the second one is the definition of the carbon fixation. So you can take a look at this diagram extracted from the book. There are three main steps of the Kelvin cycle. First one is carbon dioxide fixation. Under the actions of the enzyme, a molecule of carbon dioxide is accepted by a molecule of five C compound and form two molecules of three C compound. And then for the second step, by using the energy from ATP and hydrogen from the NADPH, the three C compound is reduced to the triphosphate. And two molecules of the triphosphate then combine to form one molecule of glucose. And for the first step is the regeneration of the carbon dioxide acceptor because it is a Kelvin cycle, not Kelvin straight line. Most of the triphosphate molecules are used to regenerate the five C compound, which is the carbon dioxide acceptor, so that the Kelvin cycle can repeat itself. And the regeneration requires energy from the ATP. So we have this concept first, and then we go back to the answer and take a look at them one by one. Option A, three C compound decreases, and the explanation is that the reduction of the three C compound has increased. This statement is wrong. You can refer to the Kelvin cycle. Now the carbon dioxide input, now the carbon dioxide concentration decreases, and then there will be less three C compound produced, and the production of the triphosphate is due to the reduction of the three C compound. So that's why it should be decreased, not increased. So option A is wrong. And then for option B, 
Free C compound decreases is due to the ATP from the photochemical reaction has decreased. Option B is also wrong. It's because the photochemical reaction are light dependent. Therefore, the ATP production is affected by the light intensity, but not the lower the carbon dioxide concentration. Therefore, we cannot say that the ATP from the photochemical reaction has decreased because it should not change at all. It should remain unchanged. Therefore, option B also wrong. And then let's take a look at option D first. For the 5C compound increases, it's because of the regeneration of the carbon dioxide acceptor has increased. This option is wrong because from the logic of the Kelvin cycle, you can see that. Let's take a look at the Kelvin cycle again. Now, CO2 supply decreases. Less 3C compound will be produced and less trial phosphate will be produced. Therefore, there should be less carbon dioxide acceptor being regenerated. Therefore, for this idea, it should has decreased. But you may think that, no, uh, Mr. Leung, if the carbon dioxide acceptor decreases, how come the 5C compound, the carbon dioxide acceptor, increases? So it is the initial change. The true reason is that because less carbon dioxide acceptor, which is the 5C compound, are required to accept the carbon dioxide. So let's think about that. The 5C compound, which is the taxi, and now the 5C compound, they are the empty taxi. And once they combine with the carbon dioxide, accept the carbon dioxide, the taxi is occupied, not vacant. That is, there is no vacancy in the 5C compound. And after the car example, and after the carbon dioxide accepted by the 5C compound, they go through the 3C compound, reduction of the 3C compound to make the trial phosphate, and then the trial phosphate, some of them become glucose and some of them are used to regenerate the carbon dioxide acceptor. That means when the passenger they get off of the taxi and there is vacancy of the taxi again. The taxi will go back to the taxi stop and wait for another customer, wait for another passenger. So now, next carbon dioxide acceptor are required. Therefore, there will be a lot of empty taxi in the queue. Therefore, option D also wrong. And then let's take a look at the option C, which is the correct answer. 5C compound increases because carbon fixation has decreased. As well, I say that less carbon dioxide are available for incorporation into the Kelvin cycle. Less 5C compound will be consumed. Okay, so the empty taxi, they will wait in the queue and show the initial change of the carbon dioxide acceptor increases. So what about it decreases again? Surely it's not about the question here. It's about that when the carbon dioxide acceptor, they receive the carbon dioxide and really continue the Kelvin cycle. So there will be less carbon dioxide acceptor regenerate later on. Therefore, the concentration of the 5C compound will decrease. And in this question, I would like to recall two more concepts. Carbon fixation refer to the incorporation of carbon into the Kelvin cycle, while the carbon dioxide fixation refer to the carbon dioxide being accepted by the 5C compound.